you were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that share button as you come on in. I need a big favor. I need for y'all to go to G5JeffTV.com, join the Boxing Prediction Fantasy League. It is the hottest Boxing Prediction Fantasy League on the planet. G5JeffTV.com. The league already started. If you're going to come in new, don't worry about the points. You're going to have plenty of opportunities to catch up on the points. It's going to be a long season. We got cash prizes for first, second, and third place. We got head-to-head matchups and everything else. So definitely go to G5JeffTV.com. You can see the scoreboard right there, right there. I need to see your name on that scoreboard. So definitely go to G5JeffTV.com. Now, one of my favorite fighters, Javante Tank Davis, um, his name is hot in these boxing streets all the time. Uh, we watch Isak Cruz get a, a second-round knockout on Andy Ruiz versus Luis Ortiz card, and he called out Tank. You know, he want that rematch. And when I heard it, I, you know, I kind of laughed at it. I was just like, okay, that was cute. Um, but then when I really thought about it, I was like, damn. I'm like, if Tank stays on the PBC side of things, he don't have a lot of options. He don't have a lot of options at all. Like just like today, you heard about him possibly fighting Ryan Garcia. I still think it's a long shot, but you're starting to hear those rumors. But if Floyd doesn't allow Tank to go across the street, or more importantly, if Al doesn't allow for him to go across the street to fight the, you know, the Tia Fimos, the Devin Haney's, the Vasil Lomachenko's, you know, the Shakur Stevenson's of the world, you know, if he's not fighting those guys, then who can he fight over at PBC? Like, you've heard, like, Michelle Rivera. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter, but Tank's not getting anywhere with a, a win over Rivera. You know, it's a name that only the hardcores know, and Tank not going to get a lot of credit for that win. So rewinding back to Pitbull Cruz actually calling out Tank, I'm like, yo, like, I'm like, Tank might have to actually, like, entertain that. <laughs> like, he might have to actually entertain that if he keeps it strictly in-house. And then I really thought about it, and I was just like, yo, like they might send like Tank on like a rematch tour, <laughs> like on a street rematch tour. They could set up a rematch between him and, and uh, Pitbull Cruz. Then they could turn around and set up a rematch with him and Mario Barrios. Then they could turn around and set up a rematch between him and Roley. Like they can literally send him on a rematch tour. You know how the R&B groups go on the comeback tour and they be like in their 50s and 60s and shit and they, they go on a reunion tour? Like they could literally send Tank at 27 years old on a reunion tour with Pitbull Cruz, Mario Barrios, and Roly Romero. Like that's absolutely crazy. That's how slim pickings it is over at PBC for Tank Davis right now. The only other options he have the best options he got outside of that is probably Rivera and probably probably Lippinets. Probably Lippinets right now. Like he's coming off a good win. Um, you do tank Lippinets. Uh, that's a possibility, but it's the 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 pickings is real slim over there. And I, I wish Floyd just take the training wheels off a of tank man. Cause I, I think he he has the ability to beat anybody at, at 135-140. Um, I think he would have a legit shot against a Tiafimo Lopez or or Devin Haney or uh, a Vasil Lomachenko or a Shakur Stevenson. Like, you know, I think he would have a – or a, a Ryan Garcia. Like, I think he's a clear favorite against Ryan Garcia. Like, it's just so much more entertaining fights and more lucrative fights in regards to, to finances across the street for uh, Tank Davis. Uh, so I don't know if he's still with Floyd officially i know he's still under al uncle al so uncle al operates in-house and then everything else he's gonna have to discuss so i just want to see tank take on the best competition you know it's not like back in the day where you know it was just you know you had uh Hagler, hearns leonard duran and they just mix and matched and just you know just got it on um, we just in a whole different era now, but I hope Tank gets to fight at least one of those dudes. I'm not gonna be greedy and say I want to see three or four. I want to see him fight one of those heavy hitters 
over across the street. Even if it's just Ryan Garcia, I'm cool with that, man. I think Tank is one of the best talents in the world, and I think he's capable of beating anyone. We're just going to see if uh, Floyd Mayweather takes the training wheels off the bike and let him ride out. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's five. I'm out.